Hello, I'm Sheila Myers with Stamping Wishes, and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, well today I posted this uh, card earlier this morning on my blog, and uh, it's using the new Blended Season set that's on uh, special this month as far as being available. It's a special edition from uh, August the 1st through August the 30th first while supplies last. So we're going to make a rendition of this particular uh, card, but you know, kind of change it up just a little bit. All right, uh, this is the stamp set that we're using. It's uh, a t comes with uh, the bundle, comes with the framelits, the stitch season framelits, which is how I uh, made the items that are uh, you see cut around here. Some of the people are kind of t cutting it out and then using negatives and then removing it and then it makes a, a pretty design but as I started playing around with it and um, using this on a piece of paper I kind of like the look of how it was uh, leaving it in so that's what we're going to do with it. You also get these two uh, stamp sets. We're going to be using the leaves today. Um, and this is a little flyer on uh, your limited time and you'll be able to get the two sets of the blended seasons and the stitch uh, seasons as a bundle. They're also offering the watercolor pencil so that's another uh, great item if you want to add. It's a Blommy Blue Cajun Craze Cherry Cobbler Coastal Cabana Crushed Curry Ferdy Flamingo Garden Green, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, and Night of Navy. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on the card. All right, we're going to, it's not a lot involved with material for this card. We're going to do um, our base color, which is the um, Mossy Meadow, and it was cut at five and a half by eight and a half, and we're just gonna fold it at four and a quarter and score it. Okay, and this piece is the shimmery white. We um, it's cut at uh, three and three quarters by five, and then I use the uh, largest stitch framelit, which is this one right here, the one there, and uh, cut it out. And then I went ahead and put it actually back in with some scotch tape to keep it all together, uh, like I'm going to need it for the for what we're doing with it today. I also put me a little base color card behind it uh, that I thought would be pretty and kind of pop off the page. So um, what we're going to do with the inside, because I, I decided I wasn't going to use the um, copper that I used here, that I wanted to use, let me see where it's at, where I put it, ah, here they are. I wanted to use um, some colored leaves kind of similar to that that would kind of stand out from it and I'll uh, place them depending on where the color is um, on top of it. But what I did, this was the piece that I had sponged and then I cut it in half and cut it to the side and I'm going to come up with something I think for the inside uh, using this as a border on uh, this side like this. Uh, I haven't quite decided just yet what we're going to do, but we're going to do something similar to that in there, and um, I think it'd be real cute. Okay, so let's, uh, this one takes a lot of sponging. Uh, we're going to use the sponge daubers. Let's go ahead and put these out, and I brought this little scrap over so we don't mess up our paper. And um, the colors that I've got out today, we've got crushed curry, I've got the Mango uh, Melody, I've got Pumpkin Pie, Cajun Craze, Mossy Meadow, and Granny Apple Green. And we're going to be stamping the design of the leaves and all the lettering with soft suede. Okay, so let's go ahead and start uh, doing some sponging. Now one of the uh, important uh, items when you're doing sponging and you want to keep it a smooth a uh, soft look like I, I did in this one. You need to make sure that you keep in a circular motion for one and also that you start off with the paper uh, to get that first initial uh, burst of color off of it so that it um, 
will transfer on as a lighter, uh, less intense color there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off and just kind of do a circular motion and we're going to put color, different colors in different places and blend them all together. Okay, let's do a little bit at the opposite side here. And let's do just a little bit over in here. And I don't know if you can tell, but my touch is extremely light here because, I'm again, I don't want any lines or anything. I want the color to come on as smoothly as possible. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of Mango Melody to our project here. And again, I like to blend the colors in with the colors that I've laid down without covering each color up, but... Uh, blending some of it up and bringing some of its own color out. So we'll kind of start up in this area here and blending on top of that and then bringing the, the color out itself. And uh, this one has just a little bit of a distinct difference between the colors of uh, the crushed curry that I used, but not enough to stand out as being a real abstract color to what we put on there. I am finding this new uh, stamp set, though, has so many versatilities on it. I don't know if um, y'all had seen the card I'd made with it the other day in a blog hop I was in, but this was the card. So again, it's using those uh, the framelits that came with it, and then I used the bow that came with it as well. So, And then some of the... Um, designs that was with the holly that was there. So there's a lot of different things you can do with it. My next uh, deal is going to probably be using the flower portion of it, which is the this one here. I want to do some water coloring with that. I think it'd be really, really pretty. Okay, let's get just a little bit more of this color in. And let's bring some over here. Okay, we'll fold this one up. Now we're going to go to pumpkin pie. Again, get some of your coloring off there. Let's go ahead and put some caged craze in there now. And I know that I'm probably using a lot of colors, uh, but I, I really like to get uh, a real subtle change in color without too much of a um, big difference, you know. And I felt like with the Cajun craze, we kind of get into a little bit of the copperish brown tones of a leaf that changes. I didn't want to go too, too uh, drastic between the black browns and the the golds and the oranges. And we probably could have even put some of the uh, Merlot in here would probably add a pretty uh, spark of the red coloring as well. And I may do that with another card, but since I don't have it over here, we won't get that one out. Okay, let's go ahead and get some of our greens in here now. We're going to bring in our mossy meadow.
it's, looks like I had a little bit of ink there. We'll have to blend in a little bit there. Okay, let's go ahead and get some of our granny apple green in it. Until I've been using this sponge a lot, it's starting to need to be replaced. Okay, I think this is looking really pretty. I'm real pleased with the way it's coming out. So let's put just a little bit more of the green over here where it was still a little bit light. Oh, I like that real well. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do our stamping of our greeting so that we can put our um, leaves around the greeting. And we're going to make this again one of the thank you cards like I had done in the other one. Get our soft suede out here. And put it about right here. And hold it down just long enough for the ink to transfer over into the card. Very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and now put our leaves on. Put that to the side there. See how we want to bring this in here. And again, just trying to leave it there long enough to transfer. Okay, very, very pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Love autumn colors. It's one of my favorite times of the year. Unfortunately, living in the, the uh, San Antonio de Broncos area, it doesn't get real cold, so we don't get as much of the beautiful foliage that they do up in the northern areas. But I did live in Tulsa, Oklahoma for a couple of years and got to enjoy it there and a little bit more of the colder weather. That was a real nice treat. Okay, I like that. So let's go ahead and Put that to the side and then decide where, the, where we want to put our flowers. And as you can see, this one really doesn't take very long to do. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but I did put some of the Wink Estella on the leaves to give them some shimmer. So we can either cluster them together, possibly, or we can scatter them out. So let's assemble the card a little bit and then we can decide on how it's going to look best with the contracting, contrasting colors and stuff. Let's go ahead and move that out of the way for right now. And I didn't bring my snail adhesive, so we'll just use some of the liquid here. I like 
to use that anyway when I'm lining up to give me a little bit extra time to maneuver it if I need to. It looks good. Okay. I'm going to put this here. And I think it will go ahead and add, um, if you noticed in this one, I had added some of the brads. And I did uh, bring out four of the smaller brads that I think I'd like to put in here. And then we'll put this up on dimensionals. And I think that'll be real pretty. Let me see if I've got my foam close by here. Piercing pads. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. I always like to use a piercing mat and uh, line up my brads that way a little bit easier. Here. Sometimes when you use your mat to kind of help you out a little bit, it, it's a little bit easier when they're smaller to get them in there and then you can kind of pull them off and open them up and we'll use the end of this. And One of the other things I sometimes do too with the brads if they're a little bit long is I'll, um, we used to have some rubber scissors that Stamping Up uh, sold, and I like to use those to cut sometimes the little pieces of metal and, and the like so I don't mess up my other cutting scissors. Okay, that's looking pretty. Oh, let's straighten that out a little bit. And then this one. And these brands are from the, I'll bring over the, here's the rest of them. Some have the larger ones have the little button on them, which I think are just really, really cute too. But these are the metallic brands. I was real glad to see uh, Stampin' Up! bring their brands back in because I've always liked uh, them as well as the little, um, I don't know if they're called grommets or the little, I can't remember what they were called that we used to use. I always enjoyed them as well. I think it adds that extra little bit of embellishment to the card and dimension as well. Okay, let's go ahead and use this to squish it down the rest of the way. And make sure we got them where we need them there. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get our dimensionals out. And what I was going to show you that you can do, this was um, the frame that came out from when I did the other card that I showed you earlier. And what you could do is put this over, use some uh, temporary adhesive back there, put it over whatever card you want to do, and then just do this and lift it up. And then you can stamp around it so it would kind of give you that uh, color flowing through as well. So that, that would be another... A good one, which I'll probably be trying that one out too. There's just so many uh, ones that I think this card uh, stamp set is going to work so well with. Definitely want to use it as much as I can this month. So let's go ahead and remove all of these and get this assembled and we'll do our inside real quick and I'm kind of this is kind of something I'm trying I hadn't tried this particular uh, items that I'm doing right now with the other one it was a, a little different so hopefully we'll it'll all come together especially when we go to do the inside but I always like to when I get my leftover pieces of stuff see if I can figure out a way to utilize them all right, let's make sure that we get this on correctly for the way our card opens. We don't want to put it on upside down. Beautiful. Very, very pretty. 
Okay, so let's decide on where we want to put. You may even want to kind of put them around the lettering here. Maybe one off there, kind of like that one there too. Trying to let them pick up some of the color from behind. Mm -hmm. I guess we could put that there. Okay, let's just do that. Let's go ahead and get some wet glue out here. And I normally would have my silicone sheet out here and do this, and I didn't bring it to the area I'm filming, so we're just going to do this for right now, and I can reinforce it a little bit later. These extra little leaves add so much to it, and you could use the gold or even the silk, you know, change it up a little bit. I think the golds and the coppers, because of the autumn colors, are the best choices for it. one in. A little bit too much glue there, so I'm going to tap that off a little bit. It looks like we've got falling leaves coming across the card. Okay, that's gorgeous. All right, let's set this aside for just a second while we finish up this real quick and decide which one that I want to use with it. Whether we want to use that one or this one. They're virtually the, the same in measurements. They're about one and an eighth by um, five and uh, a quarter. But it just depends on what kind of color, and I, I'm kind of gravitating. I, I like this color because it's got more of the yellows and a better combination of all of them over here. So I think I'm going to go with this here. So let's go ahead. I've got the stamp out that you're the friend everyone wishes they had. And uh, so the decision I need to make is if I put it up here, of course, it's going to go partially on there, which I think would be real pretty. And I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and adhere this down. Because we'll definitely want to hold the um, stamp down so that it goes across the um, physical portion of this card which will give it a little bit, it sometimes gives it a little bit of a gap, but when that happens, I usually just get my marker out and bring it all together if it does it on me. Yeah, I like that. So let's go ahead. I really don't want to put, per se, color in there. It might be pretty to, I kind of like the white that's going on there. So let's go ahead and put some Wink Estella just to kind of give it a little bit of a coloring and shimmer there. We may even do it on the other parts. Bring this up here. I'm not sure if I've got it in the camera or not, so I need to be careful, but let's go ahead and put some of that Wink Estella all over. Kind of brightens the colors up when you do, do add that. I just love Wink Estella. I use it on so many of my cards and uh, embellishments that I might put on. Even in my scrapbooking, I do that. All right, so let's clean that off because I know we got a little bit of coloring coming off on it. And let's go ahead and stamp up this. And I'm going to test the stamp to make sure I've got it on straight before I put it on our card and ruin it. Let's go ahead and line it up. 
Let's see, I'll just have to make sure that I keep the pressure down evenly all over so all the lettering comes out. Okay, let's go ahead and line this up on the grid paper. I like to use my grid paper to help me um, line in. And hopefully my head's not right here in the middle of the camera. Sometimes this is a little bit hard when you're trying to do these. You want to get right there where you can visually see it. Okay, let's see. Okay, see this is what I was telling you about every once in a while. Uh, if I don't get the pressure just right on there, but that's not a problem. What we'll, I'll do is let me get my soft suede marker here, and we'll just bring those colors in together here real quick. It comes right in there. So, And then this was the E, so we'll just go back over the E and the B. And there we go. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and put this in and then our card will be done. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video today and can see so many different uses and designs that you can come up with with this new stamp set and if you'd like to get you one if you haven't gotten it already and you don't have a demonstrator if you'll click on the link below that'll take you to my blog um, there'll be a, a place there you can click on to go to my uh, online store as well and place your order for uh, one of these stamp sets you, you won't regret it you'll just love them but uh, here's our card and again, thank you for stopping by, and until next time, happy stamping and God bless.